it's Robbie from Southern California. And, um, yeah, it's like one in the morning and I'm getting ready to plant some seeds. I've just got a big shipment of solar panels. And you know what? Let me sit for a second. There's a new trend going around. Why are, why are so many YouTubers quitting YouTube? You know, I can understand that. There's been YouTubers that I've watched that have quit. There's... So let's talk about something. I think a lot of it is, and people have asked if we're going to quit. We've had a few comments. Are, are we going to give it up? Please don't leave. And they panic when I miss one because I started putting a YouTube up almost every day. It'd either be a short, a full YouTube, or go live. No, sometimes we just need to breathe and get stuff done around here, and I can't do it every day. But as far as for us to quit, well, I'll get back to that in a moment. There are people that I watched and they're gone now. They quit. And I know there's some really big names that have decided to quit right now. And, and I can see it's a lot of work. I have quit, if you want to use the word quit. I think I'd rather say I've graduated away and went into other things over the years, different things that I've done or worked at. I mean, worked in the department store. I was an editor. I've worked on artwork. I've done animal behavior. There's a lot of different things I have done over the years. Um, bookmarks, I was making all kinds of artwork for bookmarks and it, it's something that sometimes you can only do so much and you change. Everybody evolves in their life. I evolve. Gary ev evolves. We all change things. It's not so much you change your interest, but there may be something that's more interesting. I've seen Gary go through all kinds of stuff from the time we've been married in 30 years go from one thing to another. And I think gardening has been a great passion for him because of his health. When he gave up gluten, I told him I figured out oh, he had a lot of allergies and issues. And I figured it out one day, I said, I think you're gluten intolerant. And he said, well, how do I check that out? And I said, give up gluten. Anything gluten, you've got a cold turkey. You can't take one spoon of anything. He said, okay. And in three days, he knew he was never going back. And then it turned into gardening. That's when he got the wood chips. And that's what really started us on YouTube because I was putting up videos for his family. I give a shout out to his sister-in-law or to his brother or his sister. And this is what we're doing today. And it was all about him keeping in touch with his family because Gary came here on holiday 32, 33 years ago. He was planning on going back to Australia. He had land and everything he was going to build on. And he ended up going back, selling everything up, coming back and wanted to get married. So he changed his life. Look at He changed cold turkey. He changed his friends. Everybody was kind of in shock. I think we all do that. And that's why you're hearing about this now when people leave. As YouTube gets bigger and there's more people, you're going to see big people leaving and a lot of other people that aren't as big as some of the ones that left. I'm not going to go through all the names. You're going to see that over the years, just like we all change things. We get married, you get unmarried, you change your job. That's what's going on on YouTube. I mean, it was surprising. There was a baker I was watching. Everything was great. Over a million subscribers. And all of a sudden, she didn't come back on one day. She didn't come back on for a year. She quit. She had a nervous breakdown, she said, from working on YouTube. She said, trying to get her videos done, trying to put it together, trying to get all the stuff done. Then she has to go shopping and get her product and then bake and then do everything. And it became so much between that and school. She had a complete meltdown and quit. Now I've seen a few gardeners. We're into gardening, but we also do a lot of nature. You know, we do hummingbirds. We do craft work on making solar fountains and all different types of things. We're going to get into a lot more this year. And I believe what's going on is they're changing. Oh, they're changing their direction is what it is. And a lot of people do that. I mean, I could see us doing that maybe someday, but I don't know if I'd give up YouTube. And the reason I don't believe we would give up YouTube is because it's our nature, both Gary and me, our nature and personality to help people. I always have helped. Somebody needed something fixed, you know, or something to think about. They would call me, especially with animals, because I know a lot about animals, and I would give my time in a moment. So I think 
the whole idea is they're looking for a change of pace. You've got a gardener right now, some of them that just disappeared, making videos and they're saying, okay, in a few days we're gonna be back, never came back. I know another one left and he had a reason, um, that particular person, quite big on YouTube, said that, well, he, he didn't say it, but he implied it. He had so many people coming in and trashing his garden. Oh, it looks terrible and everything, because he had a vegetable garden. And people don't realize that a lot of times your vegetable garden isn't gonna look as beautiful as a big flower garden. He tried to explain it to people. This is a food garden. You've got to let the plants do their own thing. Then you want to bring nature in to pollinate. You want all certain things going on. And I think he got to the point one day where he just said, I can't do it anymore. This is my garden. I'm gone. And he left. He's alive and well. I still keep in touch. The point is we all change directions for the good and the bad sometimes. I have changed things. I did a lot of artwork for schools. I was working on eBay for 15 years, 20 hours a day. It became too much and I enjoyed it. And then I started doing YouTube at the same time. Plus I was working. And that's when Gary said, we can't do everything. You can't do your artwork anymore. And I did step away. And it was really hard to give up eBay because I really enjoyed it. You make such a connection with so many people. I mean, I was giving away. We, we went from zero to over 30,000 feedbacks that quick. And that's, that's nothing compared to how many people don't leave comments. And so we have probably sold 60 to 100,000 shipping things out. And it's a lot of work to ship. That's probably why I don't want to ship right now. And so it, it was kind of like step back, think about it. It's like, yeah, it's going to be either YouTube or the artwork. And I love the artwork because I was shipping artwork and bookmarks to children all over the world, all over the world. I would make extras. I'd make up their pets and different things. But I really do like YouTube because I think we can throw ideas out for people in all different directions. It doesn't matter if you're in California, back east, or what part of the world you are. Thoughts and ideas, and that's something I've always loved doing. And I go places and people say, oh, I know you, you're a teacher. Oh, and now I've worked with schools, but I'm not a teacher. I get that all the time, I got it the other day. I know you, you're a teacher. No, no, I'm not a teacher. I just enjoy, and it gives me such joy when somebody writes, oh, you, you gave me such an idea, I can garden now, I, and this is such, you know, so good for our health that that stuff like that makes me feel good. But going back to all this, I think people are just changing direction. Doesn't mean they're not going to come back or come back and put some videos up. I, I would like to cut down the amount of videos we do so I can get more into the garden because I do all our editing, the photography, the directing, if you want to call that to myself. Hey, do that. Move on. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. We do it all ourselves. Gary does his own. I do my own. And I can see some people getting burned out on it. I absolutely love it. So to be honest, just so you know, anybody asking us anymore, are we leaving? We're not leaving. I hope to keep going. Hey, if I ever hit a million, which I probably won't, I'll just turn on the camera most of the time. It'll be easy. And just, this is what I'm doing today. Like what I'm doing now in the kitchen. What am I doing in the kitchen? know what that is you'll get a video on that soon I love giving people ideas I will never tell you what to do but I will tell you what I do and maybe you can take something like even the way I'm planting seeds this is my favorite way of planting seeds and maybe you'll say well I don't like that but I want to do it differently perfect that's what I want I want you to do things that work for you because what works for me may not work for you. And that's the whole idea of things. So I think a lot of it is, like I said, the baker had a nervous breakdown. The other one didn't want to hear his garden being criticized. He didn't need it, he said. And another one just disappeared. We don't know. Maybe he's not well. Maybe he just decided he's not gonna do anything. I doubt it's his, if it's his camera because it's been quite a few, like six, eight months. He just cold turkeyed it. It could be anything. You don't know what's going on in people's personal lives. But I think a lot of it is they just want to change direction in their life. Go on and have a family if they're young or just do something else. And so be it. We all do that in life. 
But no, if anybody wants to come back and ask, are you leaving because I said I'm going to cut a couple videos back? I've been doing seven videos a, a day, and I have cut back now. And it's it's either a video, a short. I don't, I'm not that crazy about shorts, but I put up a short here and there. Well, because I can't explain enough in a short. Or live. So I, may, I used to only do one a week, and now I've been doing it. I kind of bumped myself up to seven, so I probably will bring myself down to maybe four, isn't that enough? And maybe, like I said, ever hit a million, I'll just, on those blank days, I, I don't have anything, I'll just turn the camera on. But the point is, we love it. Gary loves giving his ideas. We're not here to entertain you. You're going to get information from us. I'm gonna tell you what products I buy and what I love. You know, like I just put a video up on solar, these solar kits and they're selling out fast. I have never seen them for $6.25 a piece. And so I share that stuff with you, tool. Sometimes I even contact people and say, hey, do you have a lot enough tool you can reduce the price or I'll, I'll send a lot of people to you if you can do something. Tool is so good, things for the garden. I know a lot of you need to garden. We need it for our body. And if you could do it on the cheap, you would do it. Keep one thing in mind, like I always say. Look out your window, look at the hillsides. Nature's doing it on the free. If they can do it on the free, we can do it on the cheap. But if you wanna spend a lot of money and you wanna get fancy containers or fancy soil, or you wanna pay somebody to make a fountain for you, go do it. You wanna buy the best raised beds, the best flower pots, do that. If you can afford it, you do what you have to do or you wanna do. Me, I can't. And I know I don't need to. It's not that I can't do it. Even if somebody handed me a million dollars and said, here, do you want to buy the best beds? No. Best garden beds? It's not going to make a difference. Like, there's a lot of ways we can do it on the cheap because nature does it free. And if nature does it free, we could do it at a really good price. So that's what I was just going to say. We love sharing ideas with people. It's kind of in our nature. It's something I've done my whole life since I was a kid. I've always worked with people since I was a kid and Gary's been the same way. And I just think a lot of people are burned out and they just want to step away and do something else with their life because YouTube can be an all day job. Hey, when I do a, your, a garden tour, that's an all day job. I go out there and I film. Our videos are unique because what you see is what you get. This is us, when you see me or Gary, this is it, that's our personalities. And the other thing is, when I go out and do a video, I come in, I throw it on my tablet, I work on it, get it all edited, put it up, and it's usually up within 24 hours, if not sooner. The one I put up on the solar fountains, I had that thing up in an hour, because it was important, because there's a sale going on right now. We don't farm out, our editing, we do everything ourselves. We don't have photographers. We have no one working for us. It would be great if we did, but we don't. We do everything ourselves. So that's what makes us unique because we do it all ourselves. So I just wanted to let you know, I think just people want to change. Like I said, I stepped away from a lot of things over the years. I've worked in a department store. We all do changes and I think that's what's going on. So we're going to be here as God willing, We'll continue to do this because we enjoy it. This is part of our life right now. And I'll probably have this as my very last job. How about that? So give it some thought. What I just said, we should be here for a long time. Love you guys, all of you. We both do, Gary and I. Gary is just works so hard that he doesn't get to put up the amount of videos that I do. And a lot of times I take some of the pressure off of him by doing things that we both do, but getting it filmed or, you know, recorded and then getting it up so you can get into it right away. I'm not putting up a lot of seed stuff right now because it's, frankly, it's too early. I don't want to be planting something that's going to struggle when I can plant in two months and something I plant now will get about that big struggling to stay alive until let's say April to put it outside when I can plant it in the beginning of April and it will grow 10 times faster than if I'm working with it now. Certain things you can do that too, like peppers and different plants, but squash and tomatoes, you're starting to really stress out plants because they want to do their thing. They want to go outside. They want to grow and if they can't do it under snow. So when the weather's right, they'll take off.
but I'll be doing a lot of seeds very soon. We'll be doing a lot of crafts this year, projects that we have never done before. And um, I think it's gonna be a really exciting year. I'm, I'm really happy. And everybody needs to garden something, even if you're not a gardener, because it's for our health. The food in the stores, a lot of it is zapped, so you're gonna miss a lot of the nutrients that you need, the enzymes that we need, all that that's in the plants alive, but when you grow on your windowsill, look at that. That's all edible there. That is all mushroom plant and it is growing like mad. And I'm leaving that there. I made dinner with that last night. And I made dinner, you know, the other night with it. So we can all garden. Even if we don't have a big garden outside, we can garden a little bit on the inside. But don't worry, we're not going anywhere. This is basic. This is our new home. How about that? And what you see is what you get. So I just wanted to kind of touch base with you on that. And I, I think it's interesting that a lot of people have decided to change direction. But like I said, I've seen this since I started watching YouTube. I've seen people just decide they didn't want to do it and disappear. And they just went in a whole new direction. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat with your own. Don't eat this. But I will be using this to eat. Bye-bye. <laughs>